Are you criticizing the parts of yourself that are not good? Are you trying to see only the good part of yourself? Don't do that. You can have an ideal love relationship if you live like that. You have to regard everything you have, both negative and positive, as perfect for you. I tell you why. My first love was when I was three years old. I've been loved since then, and I've been studying psychology and methodology of love since elementary school. I dated a lot and learned a lot of techniques to make men fall for me, and many were into me. There were no men I couldn't win. When I was 24, I got married to a man of status and prestige. I think people thought I was a very happy and successful woman. But my heart was gradually breaking because I was hiding myself to give the knowledge. If I show the real me, I might not be loved by the person I love. I was desperately trying to show only the good parts of myself and criticizing the parts that were no good in order to be loved. I was in a lot of pain. I ended up getting divorced soon after. If things continue like this, my partnership won't work. How can I make my love life happy? No matter how much I improved my techniques and became good at love technically, I was never truly happy from the bottom of my heart. Despite my many experiences in love, my heart cried out with a craving for happiness. Until my divorce, I had been desperately trying to be wonderful, beloved woman, but I became convinced that it was not the real me. From that day on, I promised myself that I would definitely be happy and I evaluated myself seriously. In doing so, I realized that the problem was not the other person, but within myself. As I criticized myself, I had been focusing only on my shortcomings and had not been able to face myself as a whole. After I learned that, I have established one answer that is necessary for a successful relationship. That is, to give a hanamaru to myself. Hanamaru means to love yourself as you are and to accept every part of you. The expression hanamaru is used in Japan as a word of praise or compliment to a person and can be divided into hana and maru. Hana is Japanese for flower. Maru means collect or good in Japanese. Together, they mean to love and acknowledge one's own existence, which is as beautiful as a flower. It is not something to comfort in the short term, nor is it a turning away from what you don't like about yourself. It does not mean that you have to love the parts that you don't like about yourself. It is about adding hanamaru to your very being, every part of you, including what you don't want to admit. In fact, love and partnership are not about the person's position, title, technique, or looks. People who love themselves as they are acknowledge their existence and give a hanamaru to themselves will be successful. The famous psychologist John Clay also wrote in his book, love is not about being the same, love is about respecting and honoring differences. From his statement, we can regard our differences and characteristics as abundance. Let's give more and more hanamaru to those differences. The idea of hanamaru consists of three steps. One, listen to your heart. 
Think about your thoughts and feelings each day. If you feel sad or angry, say, yes, I'm sad. Acknowledge that you have those feelings and thoughts. Two, do not judge. No matter what feeling comes to your mind, do not judge them. What you feel can't be superior or inferior, or right or wrong. It is okay if you think you are inferior to others. Three, acknowledge what you have. Recognize everything you have and accept yourself as you are. People have both positives and negatives. Recognize the things that you are not good at or dislike and give them a hanamaru. By practicing these three things, I can be who I am, and I can now live happily with my beloved partner. I have taught the hanamaru method to a total of 10,000 people. Many people have been able to give a hanamaru to themselves. They can now say, my partner loves me just the way I am. I feel loved just for existing. These are just a few of the changes that have taken place in the students. This idea can be applied not only to love, but to all aspects of life. It does not mean that you have to have talent, good looks, or great techniques to get to a hanamaru. Even without those, everyone born this earth can use hanamaru. By giving a hanamaru to yourself, you'll be able to give a hanamaru to those around you. You'll be able to love your family, your lover, society, and everyone. Then, you'll be surrounded by love and think, I'm glad I was born me. Hanamaru is love for yourself. If each one of you give a hanamaru to yourselves and love yourselves, I think the world will become a wonderful place. Let's all start giving a hanamaru to ourselves from today. Thank you.